Let us start with reading number 45, Derivative Markets and Instruments. Concept number 1, Meaning of Derivatives. Derivative is nothing but a contract which derives its value from an underlying. Okay, so what kind of contract? It is a contract, it is an agreement to buy or sell an underlying asset at a specified price which is also called the strike price or the contract price someday in the future which is the expiration date. Okay, so what are we going to buy? What is this underlying? This underlying can be a financial asset like a stock or bond or it can be commodities like gold, oil, etc. It can also be physical assets like real estate, automobiles. In fact, this can also be a non-asset item, something which is not an asset like interest rates, weather, insurance claims. So these are basically some future events like interest rates going up or down, weather being uh, rainy or cloudy, etc. So these are some events that is going to happen in the future and on the basis of that we can enter into some kind of contract. We have a note here, instruments that transform the value of payoffs is a derivatives. So the keyword is transform, instruments that merely pass on the payoffs are not derivatives. For instance, mutual fund units, mutual funds pass on the benefits of investments as it is to its units holders. There is no transformation of value and hence mutual fund units or ETF units are not derivatives. Coming to concept number two, characteristics of derivatives. So there are certain peculiar uh, characteristics of derivatives. Number one, it helps to create strategies which are not possible with the underlying alone. For instance, short selling. Although you can short sell stocks or bonds, but you cannot short sell real estate or commodities. But this is now possible with the help of derivatives. In case you do not know the meaning of short selling, short selling means that first you sell and then you buy. So this is not possible in case of a real estate, right? You cannot sell a house that you do not possess. But now with the help of derivatives, this has been made possible. Next point is high degree of leverage, which means that you have to put in a very less amount of capital to trade in larger volumes. Third point, lower transaction costs than the underlying market. This is because the derivative markets are more efficient. There are a large number of participants. The market is very, very liquid and that offers a very cost effective way to trade in the market. Okay, so it is cost effective and uh, it also allows to manage risk effectively. Risk management basically means to reduce the risk exposure to a desired level. It does not necessarily mean that the risk has to be eliminated. All right. So under risk management, what happens uh, using derivatives, we transfer the risk from those who want to get rid of it to those who want to accept it. That means the hedgers who do not like risk, they can transfer risk to the speculators who are risk loving people. Right. And lastly, derivative is a zero sum game, which means there is no creation of capital. There is merely transfer of wealth from one party to the other. So if someone is gaining out of it, then the other must lose. Okay. And the loser must pay to the gainer.